This is Devinder Kaur and welcome to my YouTube channel The Enlightened Room. In this video we are going to talk about the universal law of gravitation and this law was given by Newton. So that's why it is also known as Newton's law of gravitation. Well what does this universal law of gravitation or Newton's law of gravitation tell us? Well, Newton gave us this formula in which m1 and m2 are the masses of two objects which apply a force of gravitation which try to attract each other under the influence of the force of gravitation and they have a distance r from their centers. These two bodies, the bodies that have masses m1 and m2 have the distance r okay from the center of the bodies okay and this g you all know very well what this g is this g this big g is universal gravitation constant which is constant which is same it has its numerical value it is same for all the celestial bodies all the terrestrial bodies in this whole universe okay what is this what is the value of this g it is 6.67 into 10 to the power negative 11 newton meter square over kg square right or you can say newton meter square kg to the power negative 2 it is same right as our topic is importance of universal law of gravitation in this law newton i mean through this law newton was able to tell us many things well, we all know what this F is. We can, some people also denote it as F sub G like this, this or this, okay. This F sub G or simply as F is force of or you can say a gravitational force of attraction. Now, this gravitational force of attraction is responsible for binding all the terrestrial bodies on earth. This is our planet, our beautiful planet Earth, which should be more blue and green, okay? But it is getting more blue and lesser green, okay? This Earth, on this Earth, we all are able to walk, we all are able to breathe, we all are able to eat, sleep, and do many more things. Everything around us are at their place. They are not moving here and there of their own. They are not... Uh, roaming here and there in the air okay why because of this gravitational force of attraction not even this even the atmosphere around earth is binded around the earth like you would have uh, studied about stratosphere tritosphere etc the all the layers of atmosphere around earth are bounded around earth because of this gravitational force of attraction okay and now as we all are moving here there are various lands so the water on earth is also because of this gravitational force of attraction it is bounded the rivers are flowing because of this gravitational force of attraction even the rainfall and so, uh, snowfall are happen i mean happen because of this now why of course if it is falling it is because of gravity or gravitation well if there would be no gravity or gravitation there would be no atmosphere there would be no clouds there would be no snowfall no rainfall even we as not there would not even a single organism would be able to breathe because of no atmosphere so there would be no life so you can consider the example of moon on moon there is no gravity and that's why if there is no gravity there is no gravitation there is no force of i mean gravitational force of attraction that means there would be there is no atmosphere and as there is no atmosphere there is no life on moon right okay now what we have Consider we are we were just talking about Earth right now, okay? All the celestial, uh, I mean, all the terrestrial bodies on Earth are roaming here and there with on their with their own will, not because of gravity, but also uh, with their own will on Earth, okay? 
you are listening to my video and making a video and uploading to you it is because we are able to stand here okay the rivers are flowing the oceans the, uh, there are uh, various tides there are waves in ocean because of this gravity okay there is snowfall and uh, rainfall because of the gravity or you can say as we are talking about universal law of gravitation okay we will not talk about gravity because gravity and gravitation are two different terms okay i will upload a video related to it very soon gravity and gravitation are two different terms these are really different okay so and one more thing this universal law of gravitation the moon revolves around earth because of this force of attraction all the planets revolve around sun because of this and even the tides in the ocean are uh, are formed because of the uh, gravitational force of attraction of sun and moon okay so this was up for today's video as we had talked about the importance of universal law of gravitation in uh, studying around us okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon thank you so much